What is good, everybody? Today we are reviewing the WWE Elite Series 108 Brock Lesnar and Bronson Reed figures. Now, these are the last two in the set that we need to review. If you guys missed our Omos and Chelsea Green review, if you guys missed our Terry Gordy and LA Knight figure reviews, definitely check those out on the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. But back in the line is Brock Lesnar and Bronson Reed, two guys who are no strangers to the Elite line. Bronson Reed had one of the better figures in his first Elite in his lineup. And then over here, we do have Brock Lesnar, which say what you will, his figures are awesome. I know they don't have that many changes, but we're going to dive into all the lore today with these two figures, man. Intrigued with it, even if he does have a honeycomb mouth over there. But with all those things being said, man, here's Farmer Brock with his honeycomb mouth. A lot of people saying, can you put this on the Scott Hall Monday Night War Elite? I highly doubt it, but we'll try it here in the video, I guess. But Brock Lesnar there with his honeycomb face, and then you got honeycomb Brock on the back there, and then you do have his matchup with uh, Omos, which we took a look at. So you have that whole entire WrestleMania matchup in figure form now. And then we do have Bronson Reed over here, which I do like the duster that he's got going on. Oh my god in heaven. But I'm intrigued with the duster. Excited to see what this is all about, man. Bronson Reed, again, no stranger to the Elite line, of course, but there he is there. But nonetheless, man, we got two big meaty men here, and we're going to unbox these guys, find out what they're all about, put them on the rotating base, and see if these figures are worth a damn. Are they trash or somewhere in between? So here's Elite 108 Brock Lesnar and Bronson Reed out of the packaging, man. I'm liking these figures for what they are. I do have my gripes with both of them, which we're going to, of course, get into in the review here, man. But two meaty men going at it here in the review. Which one is better? You can chime in down in the comments section below. It's very intriguing. I feel like somebody over at Mattel is a big Bronson Reed fan, and I'll explain those things as we get into it, man. But I do have my gripes about these figures, like I stated, so we're going to do all that stuff, man. Let's dive into Brock Lesnar's accessories and the Brock Lesnar figure, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Bronson Reed's accessories and the Bronson Reed. All right, man, so for Brock Lesnar's accessories, you get a rubber entrance vest, a cowboy hat, and some interchangeable hands. And for whatever reason, man, I get this question a whole lot. I guess it's because they're trying to figure out if they want to put this on their Scott Hall figure. And we'll do that when we get into the comparisons, just so you guys can see. But this one's larger than the other one, I can tell you that. It's got some nice rips in there. Reminds me a lot of, like, the heavy machinery entrance vest, if I'm not mistaken, if that's what that was. But it does have some cool dry brushing detail in there and everything like that. So Mattel was capable of it. They just didn't do it on the Scott Hall. Kind of flat on there, but it does have some nice sculpts on it and it's got the rips around the rims there so that's pretty good not not too bad there at least it's an entrance vest and it's not gonna hinder anything for you and then he also comes with his black cowboy hat now we have seen this on a couple other Brock Lesnar's in the Elite 99 and whatnot but uh this looks good and it fits the figure well so that's always a good thing to see you know you like to see the cowboy hat fit the figure here I think I got it backwards there we go and it fits on there really good with his honeycomb mouth man Jesus I hope that people get that reference okay so does it even fit well I thought it fit well. Now it's like kind of falling off there. Okay, it, it, it fits somewhat decent there. I think it accomplishes what it needs to for the most part. And it took a long time, but we finally did get fists for our Brock Lesnar's in the UFC glove mold with the black pegs here, which look really good. So you can beat the hell out of you. Got the Lesnar written on there, of course. Then you have the mic holding mold or the weapon wielding mold here, which is essentially the same thing, except a different shape there of the hand so you can hold different objects. And then he does have the black peg, so that's good. But he does have Lesnar on the back again. Armin, right, getting into the head sculpt, we do have the honeycomb mouth Brock Lesnar. Now, if people don't get that reference, man, back in the early 2000s, mid 2000s, the honeycomb cereal had these damn commercials where I guess like the kids would get honeycomb mouths, is what they would call it, or like you know, their mouths would get massive and they'd eat the honeycombs or something like that. A mouth big enough for honeycomb, biggest pieces in the galaxy, plus an awesome honey sweet crunch for a giant taste that's part of this good breakfast. Why not give honeycomb a shot? but only if you've got the mouth for it. Big Mouse wanted. Just littered the damn airwaves, man. I mean, Jesus Christ. It was like every show you watched, there was damn honeycomb mouth commercials just going crazy. But honeycomb cereal's damn good. Might go buy a bowl today just, just for this video, just in celebration. But Brock Lesnar, he is doing that, like, cocky smile laugh, which we've known, you know, come to know. But I feel like the mouth just is too big. Something's off about this head sculpt, man. And we have seen this in some basic figures, and now we have it on this Elite. And I don't know, it's like the shape of the mouth at the bottom right here looks weird at the bottom lip. And we've seen this on Randy Orton and RVD too, where it just looks odd. Their mouth open just doesn't look natural. It doesn't look like the character. And here, it just looks weird to me. It just doesn't look natural. And I don't know, you guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section. But the beard's nice. I like everything else about the head sculpt. I just don't like the facial expression, I guess. But same Brock Lesnar torso, same Brock Lesnar arms and tattoos and everything going on here. Not anything that is out of the ordinary or different. 
skull graphic on the butt, you know, the, he has one of the most iconic tattoos of all time, and the graphic looks sweet on the shorts. They did add some details here in the skulls that they left out on some other figures, but he does have the pinless legs and the black boots. And this Brock Lesnar has a little bit, l like, looser legs than other Brock Lesnars I've seen, but, you know, the tight knees, hate to see it, but he can kick forward. He is on ball joints, so that is something to note here, but it's the typical articulation you come to know with Brock Lesnar. It's nothing to shatter the earth with, but, you know, he can pose around pretty damn good, but I would still recommend the Ultimate Edition over this Elite, even if you have to overpay or what have you, but for your Brock Lesnar figure comparisons, let's go ahead and bring out the Army. So for your Brock Lesnar figure comparisons, man, here's the sort of Army we have, and this isn't even all of them. I do believe there's one or two missing from this list that we have here. So from left to right, you have the Elite 19. There's also a Best of Pay-Per-View Elite that looks very similar to this. I think this is the Elite 30, or this may be the GameStop exclusive one. I just head-swapped it with that ugly, horrendous head sculpt. And then there's uh, so there's the Elite 30, then the GameStop exclusive. Exclusive. You have the first Ultimate Edition here, which was beautiful. The Elite 108, which is right here in the review. The Royal Rumble Elite that just legitimately came out not too long ago. The Elite 96 that came out not too long ago. And then the best Mattel Ultimate Edition of all time, the Ultimate Edition Series 15 Brock Lesnar. And this isn't even all the Brocks. So, you know, it's just, I don't know, man. I just don't know if it's worth the upgrade for me personally here, but it is cool to see all these up next to each other so you can kind of measure the differences. Like this one and this one are the only one with pinless legs. The rest of them do have pins in the leg, so maybe that's a deal breaker for you. These four have pinless arms. These don't have pinless arms. These are single jointed, so there's just some different things that you have to take into consideration here, but yeah, man, nothing to really write home about. Also, this one just looks shorter than the rest, or maybe I'm tripping or something, but the Ultimate Edition, this is the one you want right here. Avoid every other Brock ever. Just get this one. And then for your former Brock figure comparisons, here is the new Elite 108 up next to the Tribal Chief versus Beast Incarnate 3-pack Brock, the Elite 99 Chase, and the Elite 99. So yeah, there's all the different Brock Lesnar's, man. Just include, like, dude, there's so many damn Brock Lesnar figures. Need to do a ranking on him. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. But now, let's go ahead and put this damn vest on this Scott Hall so you guys can see exactly what that looks like and see if that's something that maybe you want to do there. So here is our Scott Hall figure here. Let's move these guys back some and then we'll get into it. So here's our Scott Hall. First of all, it's going to be way too light in comparison, but I don't know. This may be something that you want to do. I don't know, but... It's definitely oversized, for sure, compared to the other vests, but there you go. Very underwhelming, in my opinion. It just it, it just looks stupid to me. I don't I don't like it at all, but if that's something you want to do there, you can also watch Action Figure Surgery, and I'll show you how to dry brush this one and make it look, you know, way better. So th this is definitely better. I don't like this one on here. Just looks dumb. Anyway. And then we have Bronson Reed's accessories here. Now, he does have this entrance duster, which is very high quality, you know, fits the figure well. It has a nice sheen to it, man. I feel like, you know, Mattel, his first go-around, that Elite 90 figure, had that damn jacket that was amazing, and now he gets an entrance duster that also is amazing, so... I guess somebody over at Mattel just loves Bronson Reed or something, but I, I do like the skull and crossbones that we have going right there. You got the flames and the white and silver there, the iridescence going on. Very nice accessory, and again, it does fit the figure well, so... But yeah, there's somebody over there that's got to just love Bronson Reed or something, man. Because I wish that every figure could come with this. If they, if every figure could come with cloth goods like this, and I know we've gotten a ton, like, right? I feel like most figures nowadays are coming with cloth goods, so they're making strides. But two epic accessories on both of his elites, man. You'll love to see that, but this is hella nice. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get these claw hands, or these throwing snowballs, or mushing somebody in the face, or just the dodgeball hands. I don't know. They're clearly grasping, you know what I'm saying? Honk, honk. You're grabbing something, man. And then we have the mic holding hands. So he's got the cheek grabbing hands, and then he has mic holding or weapon wielding hands, which are nice. So getting into Bronson Reed, man, starting out at the top of the head sculpt, pretty much the exact same head sculpt we saw in his last Elite, which was fantastic. A lot of people write home about that Bronson Reed Elite the last time. A lot of people just love that figure. Uh, seemingly a perfect figure, if you might add. I remember the proto shots. A lot of people were upset because it looked like they left off his chest tattoo, but it does seem that they have it. And he also has added all these upper arm tattoos here, and He's got these nice elbow pads on there, which I do believe were on there last time. Tribal tattoos going on. You got the black wrist tape. Really like his gear. Again, kind of a repaint of his last figure. You know, some added additions of tattoos and graphics. But for the most part, it's essentially a repaint there. But you do have the black, green, and white, which looks really good. Got that skull on there, which I like. And then he does have his thick boy thighs there. He is on ball joints, which we'll get into. But he does have the large knee pads instead of the smaller ones this time. And they have added some leg tattoos here, which are essential, man. Gotta have the leg tats. I'm working on getting me some. I don't have any yet, but I do have, you know, the rest there. But short black boots. 
And that is essentially your Bronson Reed figure. I mean, dude, this figure does move quite well, all things considered. Like, he can kick forward pretty decent there. He's got a decent split there. My legs were all jacked up out of the packaging, though. I try to plug in a, a, a photo of that. But this Bronson Reed's pretty damn good, man. And if you bring up his Elite 90 comparison, it's kind of pick your poison. I don't know why this one... Why is this one slightly taller? What did they change? Did they change something here? Hold up. These are... Are these... No. Everything looks to be the same here. I don't I don't really know why this one or maybe I'm just tripping or maybe it's the angle of the camera or something like that I don't know what's going on here man. It's the same head sculpt. It's everything. I don't know But I prefer the elite 90 over this one up here I just like the gear better. I like the jacket over the duster. So that's just where I stand I don't know if it's worth the upgrade to you, but that's just where I'm, I, I I'm team I'm team elite 90 what about you? But I think that pretty much wraps up everything about our WWE Elite Series 108 Brock Lesnar and Bronson Reed figures, man. You know, at the end of the day, it's it's very tough because I can see why people would want this Bronson Reed figure. You know, it does have some updates to it, like the legs. He does have the leg tattoos on there. But at the end of the day, I like the Elite 90 better, you know? I think this head sculpt is pretty much exactly the same. There's just not enough changes for me personally on these figures to warrant an upgrade. Like, I think the Bam Bam Bigelow figure is perfect pretty much for the most part. You know, he's got the big singlet on there. The colors are better in my opinion. He doesn't have these massive knee pads on there, which isn't the biggest deal. You could easily switch them out, right? It's not, that's not a deal breaker per se, but I just like the Bam Bam Bigelow gear better. I like the jacket. I think it stands out more to me. So I would personally pass on this Bronson Reed for that reason. But look at the quality of the cloth goods. I mean, you do get this entrance duster that's very cool. It looks good on the figure. You know, if you want that updating gear. But for me personally, I would pass. Now, you may be a big Bronson Reed fan. Maybe you don't care about that and, and all those things. And I know last time, didn't he have, you know, he had like the painted on thing or you know, he doesn't have as many tattoos as he once did and what have you. So, you know, maybe you do, you know, you want to warrant the upgrade. But if you're wearing that Bam Bam jacket, you can't even see the tattoos anyway. So that's just my personal take. I think his first figure was better to me. But this is certainly a, a cool upgrade, a cool, similar to the Omos figure, right? It's kind of like, yeah, it's a cool upgrade, but is it worth that? That's going to be up to you, you know? Is it worth the upgrade? That will be up for your, you know, discretion there. But I personally do prefer the Elite 90. As terms of the Brock Lesnar figure, completely skippable. Wouldn't even look at it. I would not even, like, I, I, I just wouldn't. I, I don't like the head sculpt. And besides that, I, I just don't really care for it, man. I mean, there's certainly better former Brock figures, right? Quote, unquote, former Brock. I know he does have the braid here, but I don't like this honeycomb mouth that he comes with. I, you know, we dove into that lore a little bit there where we talked about, you know, the RBD head sculpt in the Randy Orton, where their mouths just don't look right wide open. It's the, the sculpt or something's off. And it's not like Mattel is inept at doing screaming head sculpts or my, mouth wide open head sculpts because we've seen it done right. I think they've done well on Austin. They've done well on John Cena. They've done well on Hulk Hogan and different guys. They've even done a Brock Lesnar one really good. So I just think that this one with the smile in there, the mouth is too big or protruding sort of, and it just kind of puts me off. I just don't like it per se. And not that this figure is bad, it's fine. I do think that his legs are a little bit loose compared to other Brock Lesnar figures for whatever reason that I'm finding. I don't know why that is. And you could say pinless legs, but it's not that because his Royal Rumble Elite also had pinless legs. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but I do think that you can skip over this Brock Lesnar and not lose a wick of sleep, man. I think that you would sleep fine at night skipping over this figure. I think the Ultimate Edition 15 is still the best Brock Lesnar, and it's still the epitome of Mattel action figures. So I would go with that one all day. I don't care if you have to, have to double the price. Even if you have to pay $50, $60 for that Brock Lesnar Ultimate Edition, I would pay that over this one right here. And also, you know, you don't really get any groundbreaking accessories in my personal opinion, so... I don't know. That, that's just what I feel about this figure, man. So you guys can let me know what you think of Elite 108 Brock Lesnar. I just think there's so many others that you could choose from that would be just as good, if not better, than this one. And this head sculpt's worse. So I, I, I don't know. I just wouldn't personally get this one if I were you. Nonetheless, you know, if you like pinless joints and all that, then maybe you do want this one. But I still like the Royal Rumble Elite with the kind of sleepy Brock face over this one. And I don't know. That's just me. That's just me, Brad. But if you guys want to pick these figures up, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Would greatly appreciate that, man. Always appreciate the support on the channel, man. Getting closer and closer to WWE World, man. I, I am beside myself. I'm so hyped. Cannot wait to see exactly what we get out there, man. But nonetheless, that is going to wrap the review on Elite 108 Brock and Bronson. Let me know where you stand on these figures down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Mighty Toys. And also a huge shout out to our Patreon members over on the MDT YouTube channel, man. You guys are absolute beasts. 
I always appreciate you guys so very much for all that you do for me on a monthly basis, man. You guys are incredible. Just gave away a chase. Carmelo Hayes over there, man. So always appreciate those fellas as always. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on my name, Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.